this one is on. Well, I love it. My plants hate it. I was just blessed with a fire well, team. Lucky you got fire, sister. Oh my stars! Is that a human out here? And they look injured. Sister, we have to help them. Oh, great. And just when I thought we'd have a night off. What in the three realms were you thinking, human? You can chastise the human later. Please, help me carry them. All right, all right. Come here, human, and one, two, three, hip. There we are, human. You'll be all right. Just, Just try, try and stay, stay with us, okay? okay? Here, we'll take you back to our inn. <sighs> Sister, they haven't woken up yet. What if we weren't fast enough? What if... Oh, no, I don't even want to think about it. Sis, please, relax. This human is going to be fine. In all of the realms, taking care of them. <laughs> All I had to do was light a fire. Thank you, sister, but you really shouldn't put yourself down. Without your heat, one, my medicine wouldn't have worked, and secondly, I fear that the human would have frozen. Hypothermia is extremely dangerous, especially during this time of year. So what are they doing out here? And why did they have to come on our day off? Oh, here they go. They're waking up. You can ask them yourself. I'd also like to have a few words. Let me speak to them first, before you have your fiery attitude towards them. Hi, human. Oh, are you all right? Oh, thank the stars you're okay. We were so worried. Ahem? I was so worried. How is your head feeling? Can you wiggle your toes? Oh, that's great. Your color has come back to your face. Oh, you have no idea what a dire situation you were in. What a dire state you were in. If it weren't for my sister and I, you would have been gone. So, now that my sister's little worries are out of the way, it's time you and I had a chat. What were you doing out there? Listen, I get it. We're in the middle of a human village, blah, 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 blah. But it is the middle of a blizzard. It came from the north. And they've been having even more worse blizzards. We should probably check up on our elf friend. Nonetheless... It was incredibly irresponsible for you to go out like that. Not only that, but you ruined our day off. You'll have to pay back for that. Oh, sister, don't be too cross with them. I mean, they just survived a terrible, terrible event. One that they put on themselves, mind you. You weren't even wearing the right clothes. So? Care to explain? And don't... Try to lie. If you do, I'll burn you. What my sister means to say is, she can tell whether people are lying or not. And she has true sight. I think that's what it's called. It is. And even the tiniest of lies I can sense. And see. And you are shrouded in mystery. Mystery? Yes, seems like this little human here, they have a couple of, uh, impurities all around them. Your aura. Right here. And right here. You were in trouble, weren't you? Now don't go assuming the worst in people. But I suppose if it is to protect us in the inn... It is. Honestly, I don't just accuse people for no reason, you know. I might have an attitude problem, but I can assure you, accusing the innocent isn't my favorite pastime. 
Anyway, back to you. Any idea of what you want to tell me? I'm sure you've heard of our inn before. It seems like you live around here. Mm-hmm. This is a magical inn. It only spawns for people who need it. Good people who need it. Why doesn't that automatically make you a good person? Well, because we brought you here. We're the owners of the inn. It kind of has to appear for us. So you... I need to make sure you're not going to harm anyone here. My sister is a little bit, um, forward, but yes, we need to make sure that your heart is, well, not pure, but at least a little bit decent. We're looking for a decent human being. You can do that, can't you? Good. I'm happy to hear that. Remember, don't lie to me. My sister can protect you with her words, but... My fire can get a little out of control when my temper flares. The human understands. <sighs> Just answer honestly, and even if you're bad, we won't leave you out in the blizzard. We'll take care of you, and then you'll go. We aren't heartless. You're too injured to be out there all alone anyway. Speaking of which, I might not be a healer like my sister, but I probably should take a look at your injuries. Well, my sister's good at healing, not identifying. If you are bitten by a werewolf, or a vampire, or any of those interesting creatures, I should probably see it. Well, I can cure you. Or my sister can. What my sister means to say is... There's a way to cure those kinds of things. Two different ways. One of them is a much longer process, and the other one... I'll take my flame right up to the bite and whoosh! It burns away all the toxins. Don't worry. It's extremely painful. <laughs> oh, this human is way too easy to tease. I promise, it'll hurt, but then afterwards, it'll be like the bite never existed. And don't worry, you won't be burned. I have magical fire. Don't get me wrong, I can burn you. But my magical fire, the one that would take care of any bite scratches, etc. That one, that one won't burn you. Again, it'll hurt because all the toxins are coming out, but... It'll prevent you from turning into a vampire or werewolf or whatever. I mean, I can't imagine a human wanting to be any of those things. I know that they try to sell how good the whole werewolf and vampire life is, but honestly, unless you're in certain groups, it's not that great. Now, if you're with a queen or... Someone who's been at it a long time, you'll be fine. But someone like you, who obviously has been left alone, it wouldn't be good for you. No one to teach you the ropes, no one to take care of you. Well, I guess that's what we're doing. Exactly. So there's no reason to worry. There is no reason to worry. We're going to take care of you, and you will be all right. As I said before, this inn is a magical place. We care for all sorts of creatures here. Usually not humans, but we are not opposed to having humans here. Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine how scared you were out there, getting attacked and then left. But don't worry, as I said, you have a warm fire, and you have two of the best elves taking care of you. The top healer elf, 
and her beautiful twin sister. <laughs> She's the one that keeps everything together. Yes, without her, there would be no inn. I take care of people, but she's the one who takes care of literally everything else. Make sure the right people get in, the wrong people stay out. She may not have a lot of healing magic other than her mystical fire, but to say that she isn't as useful as I am, oh, that is a lie. Aha! Sorry to cut you short there, sis. I appreciate the kind words, but I'm sure my talents will be of use to them soon. Oh, right where? You see, right there. A bite. How awful. Is it... is it really bad? Well, it's not good. Relax, human. You're okay. I can't believe I just said that. You're all right. We're not going to let anything bad happen to you. But for starters, again, you need to calm down. The stress is only going to make this worse. What kind of bite is it? Oh no, is it a werewolf bite? Honestly, I think the human and I would have preferred it to be a werewolf bite. No, this is actually a lot more serious than I thought. Oh no, if she's worrying, it must be bad. You were bitten by a snake. Not just any snake, but... Looks like kind of a venomous one. How did a snake come out in a blizzard? It doesn't make any sense. A reptile? In this weather? That doesn't make any sense. Like you said. But yeah... There are the fangs right there, and... Oh, I should have seen it earlier. You had all the signs of snake poisoning, but because of the storm, I didn't think to... It's fine. It looks like they didn't give you enough to... Well, you know. But it gave you enough to hinder you. You're gonna be down and out for a little bit. And I already checked. You're a decent human being. So, you get to stay here. And unfortunately for me, I'll have to kiss my vacation goodbye. Oh? You mean, we get to take care of them? Yes, yes. Calm down, sis. We can take care of them. Yay. We're going to need to ask you a couple questions, though. N questions? Like what? We don't want to stress out our poor human. Here she goes again. Listen, sister, I understand that you're very, very excited, but... If there really is a snake person out there biting people like this, a venomous one, that is something we need to check. What did this snake look like? Purple. Purple? Purple? Oh, dear. What does that mean? It's one of those. One of what? Uh, forgive me. I forget that not everyone is well-versed in, well, technically monsterology like I am. You see, the kind of snake you are unfortunately destined to meet somehow was a... Well, it's one that likes to claim trophies, claim mines. Without my sister, you would have become, you know, a mindless drone, destined to serve at that snake woman's tail for the rest of eternity. Or until, you know, the other option. <gasps> How awful. A horrible thing, really. You're telling me? Oh, human. I'm so happy that I was able to help before... Before something like that happened. Oh, do we need to keep taking care of them? Is there anything else we can do? Oh, but, but what if it's not enough? Relax. They're fine. 
if they would have already had mind control, it already would have happened. Luckily, again, my sister gave you the right herbs by accident and stopped that from happening. Now you, I don't know what to do with you. You have to stay here. There's no way I'm letting you back out there. Not with something like that on the loose. But the venom that you're experiencing right now... Is it deadly? I already said it's not. But it's going to make them... Loopy? Something like that. Strange things are going to happen. You see, the venom of that snake... It's a destiny venom? As I said, she was trying to mess with your destiny. Trying to make you a mindless drone dedicated to her. It's much different than just hypnosis. Really? Oh, human. I promise. I'll give you the right herbs every day. And we'll take care of you. And hold you. And make sure everything is taken care of for you. I promise. I'm not going to let anything harm you. Interesting. Anyway, it's fine. I'll just have to take some notes in the background and we'll see how this goes. Congratulations, human. You have two very, 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 very interesting elves. Powerful elves. Taking care of you now. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Very interesting. But for now... <laughs> You need rest. Again, there's no telling what that venom is doing to you. Well, I think my sister knows, but I don't think she's going to be telling us anytime soon. So in the meantime, let's get some shut-eye, okay? You're on the most comfortable bed we have. So just close your eyes, and we'll make a big breakfast for you in the morning. Whatever you'd like. And then I'll give you your medicine, and we'll take care of you. <laughs> I can't wait to pamper you. It's gonna be so much fun. As long as you make my sister happy, that's all that matters. <laughs> I'll be checking up on you as well. And don't expect me to act like my sister. I'm not about the whole googly eyes and heart thing. You're gonna get what you get. But as I said before, I'm gonna make sure you're safe. For research purposes. <laughs> That's all. Sure. Anyway, you need rest. So close those eyes and sleep. 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 Oh, look at them. They're already asleep already. No, sister... You seem a little bit puzzled. Is something the matter? I can sense that there's been... a time warp. A time fraction. Something like that. Our destinies have been changed, and this human has something to do with it. It's not a bad thing, but it's something we need to be cautious about. You can have fun with this human. Pamper them all you want. But I'm going to be a little bit more cautious around them. Just to make sure that everything's alright. Oh, you worry too much. You already know that the human is fine. That they're a decent human being. That they just got caught up in a horrible, horrible snake girl's game. I understand your irritability with everything. But I assure you, sister, if you let your heart open... And you obviously don't worry enough. It's fine. I'm sure this human will be fine. Just, we need to let them rest. I can't imagine what they've been through already, and honestly, with my head hurting like this, my irritability is not going to help them heal. We'll see them in the morning, and... Maybe a connection will form. Who knows? This human might be a permanent resident of our lives. Only time will tell. Oh, I hope you're right. 
I know it's strange, but meeting this human, I really do want them to be a part of our lives forever. Now come downstairs. I'll make you some tea for your head.